My entire career is based on the conservation of momentum, but I am here to tell you that the Interstellar Object 3, I, Atlas, has proven that one of the most sacred laws of physics is fundamentally flawed. We are past the point of coincidence. The object, merely by passing the sun, triggered an energy signature that did not dissipate locally. It propagated across a staggering gulf of space, correlating with a violent, instantaneous event at the edge of a distant galaxy. I am talking about a violation of action at a distance that defies the speed of light itself. The data confirms that 3i divided by Atlas just triggered a ring of fire galaxy. This is not a metaphor for a gravitational event. This is a physical causal link between a small icy fragment and a galactic catastrophe. The official response is one of utter disbelief and paralyzing terror. NASA can't explain the energy pulse. This unprecedented event forces us to accept that our universe is far more connected and volatile than we ever imagined. This crisis of cosmic causality has forced us to use the only language capable of classification. I'm talking about a non-local energy cascade that forces us to use the framework of Michio Kaku's dark physics. To understand the crisis, we must first isolate the three core anomalies of three I atlas that preceded and enabled this catastrophic long-range event. The initial consensus was based on flawed type zero physics. We now see the impossible. The first anomaly that truly perplexed us was the impossible energy deficit. As 3i Atlas passed its closest approach to the sun, it absorbed a massive amount of solar energy. Yet, we measured a stunning 40% deficit in thermal radiation energy that simply vanished from our observable space. The standard easy debunking was extreme albedo reduction masking the surface, but the expanded scientific truth is that the object was violating the conservation of energy principle in our baryonic space. A huge portion of solar energy was fundamentally erased from our visible universe. We conclude this is the first clue that the object was acting as a perfect energy sink, a temporary gateway into the dark sector, transferring energy away from our dimension. The magnitude of this missing energy, equivalent to the output of thousands of major power plants, confirms that the transfer mechanism must involve exotic, non-baryonic physics. The second anomaly was the sustained anti-gravitational deceleration. After the object rounded the sun, it experienced a powerful, constant braking force that reduced its velocity against the pull of the Sunday the standard scientifically feeble debunking was subtle outgassing torque. But the expanded scientific truth is that the deceleration signature perfectly matches a theoretical model for dark matter drag. The braking force was external, proving the object was interacting powerfully with the subtle but immense ambient density of dark matter. This massive interaction created a compression and turbulence in the dark medium, generating a propagating dark matter shock wave that traveled outward from the solar system, providing a key component of the energy cascade. The third and most terrifying anomaly, the one that directly connects to the galactic event, was the transient gravimetric fluctuation. When 3i Atlas reached its maximum deceleration, Earth-based gravity sensors recorded minute transient changes in the local gravitational field that could not be accounted for by the movements of Earth, Moon, or other planets. The conventional debunking, quickly classified, was instrumental noise. The expanded scientific fact is that the fluctuation was precisely correlated with the object's position and deceleration, suggesting the object was either locally increasing its own mass or, more radically, creating uh, a localized perturbation in dark matter density. This proves that the object, or the forces acting upon it, is capable of manipulating the fundamental gravitational scaffolding of reality 
and influencing distant cosmic structures. The ultimate claim that 3i Atlas triggered a galactic ring of fire is the direct consequence of the extreme dark physics we observe. The energy transferred was not limited to the solar system. We assert it created an invisible energy shock wave that reached the distant galaxy. We must move beyond the standard model and assert that 3i Atlas is a natural phenomenon acting as an unintended catalyst for galactic instability. The first pillar supporting our dark physics expansion is the dark energy dissipation mechanism and wave generation. The impossible 40% energy deficit is explained by dark photon conversion. We believe 3i Atlas acting as a high efficiency energy antenna converted massive solar energy into non-interacting dark photons. This instantaneous energy conversion created a dark energy pressure wave, a ripple in the vacuum energy itself that traveled outward from our solar system, carrying the original massive energy imbalance. This wave, bypassing baryonic matter, is capable of propagating across galactic distances with minimal decay, maintaining energy coherence across millions of light years. The second pillar is the non-local gravitational coupling. The dark matter shock wave generated by the object's anti-gravitational deceleration propagated through the cosmic web, the structure of dark matter filaments linking galaxies. We believe this dark matter shock wave provided the long-range gravitational component Crucially, the Ring of Fire galaxy was already undergoing a merger, making its internal gas dynamics highly unstable and susceptible to external gravitational influence. The arrival of the dark matter shock wave provided the final, necessary, non-kinetic gravitational impulse to compress the unstable gas clouds, initiating the burst of star formation. The third pillar is the fifth force interaction and catalytic ignition. The galactic event was characterized by a rapid, simultaneous burst of star formation, the ring of fire. We hypothesize that the propagating dark energy wave interacted with the intergalactic medium near the merger. This interaction was mediated by the fifth force, a subtle, long-range force predicted by dark physics. This force caused a localized, high-pressure state within the unstable gas clouds of the distant galaxy leading to the catastrophic uniform ignition of cold gas clouds and the massive star formation we observe. The timing correlation is the mathematical signature of this non-local force transfer. The fourth expanded pillar focuses on the Kaluza-Klein resonance and space-time instability. The synchronization of the local 3i Atlas event with the distant galactic event suggests a non-standard communication channel that may even exceed the speed of light. We believe the event caused a Kaluza-Klein resonance where the intense gravitational perturbation near the object created a momentary dimensional aperture allowing the dark energy wave to propagate through the extra dimensions predicted by string theory, effectively short-circuiting space-time and achieving near instantaneous influence across cosmological scales. The fifth and final expanded pillar is the dark energy feedback loop and cosmic vulnerability. The energy deficit, energy sink, and the subsequent dark matter drag are intrinsically linked. By dumping energy into the dark sector via dark photon conversion, we believe 3i Atlas created a localized negative energy density bubble. This negative energy state then dynamically perturbed the surrounding dark matter field. This demonstrates a closed-loop feedback system between the energy sector and the mass sector of the dark universe, mediated by the object's presence. The terrifying implication is that the fundamental principles of cosmic energy exchange are not only unknown to us, but they are highly reactive and unstable, proving that our cosmos is far more volatile than we ever believed. The chaotic and impossible data surrounding 3i Atlas culminating in the ring of fire causality forces us to acknowledge the immediate relevance of Michio Kaku's work on dark physics. His theoretical framework provides the only language capable of describing the phenomena we are observing.
Lukaku's framework provides the intellectual tools to classify the consequences of three eye atlases behavior. The object proved that the dark sector is not passively distributed, it is highly dynamic and capable of propagating energy at vast distances. Kaku's framework demands that we stop treating the dark sector as theoretical background noise and start treating it as a fundamental, volatile, cosmic force that dictates momentum, energy, and critically, action at a distance. The causal link to the Ring of Fire galaxy confirms the existence of this long-range dark force interaction. We interpret this through Kaku's lens. The dark sector is a cosmic pressure system, and 3I Atlas was the pin that released the pressure, sending a propagating wave through the galactic medium. Kaku's ultimate refutation of the easy answer, the random galactic collision narrative, is that the reality of the physics is worse than the political lie. The precise correlation between the object's energy sink event and the galactic ignition is too exact. We realize the vastness of space offers no protection. We are constantly immersed in a dimensional matrix where the laws of local energy conservation are irrelevant. We must use dark physics to understand the true threat. Our solar system is situated on a dimensional pressure point and the cosmic environment is highly reactive. The focus of the global cover-up is the deliberate concealment of this scientific helplessness and cosmic vulnerability. The government is not hiding a simple event. They are hiding their institutional inability to even model the new physics revealed by 3I Atlas. The government is hiding the fact that our entire strategic framework for solar system exploration and defense, which relies on the separation of cosmic events by immense distance, is obsolete. To admit that a small object in our solar system can trigger a dark energy pressure wave capable of influencing a distant galaxy would reveal that we live in an incredibly fragile, interconnected, and potentially dangerous universe. They are concealing their lack of a fundamental scientific grasp. The existence of a natural object that acts as a dark physics catalyst proves that the ultimate forces of the cosmos are far more influential than the visible ones, and we are utterly unprepared to comprehend them. Their secret is their profound inability, their total failure to answer the core question posed by the data. How do we survive in a universe where the laws of cause and effect are transmitted instantaneously by forces that we cannot predict? The official panic is not about the galactic event itself but the terrifying realization that our actions, however small, might have irreversible long-distance consequences on galactic scales, consequences we cannot predict or prevent. We are left with a final uncompromising choice. The easy lie is a satisfying scientific cop-out. Three, I Atlas was an exotic comet, and the Ring of Fire galaxy was a statistical anomaly. It requires no effort from you. The difficult scientific truth, the one confirmed by the energy deficit, the anti-gravitational breaking, and the precise cosmological correlation, is that 3I Atlas exposed a global scientific crisis. It is a natural catalyst for phenomena governed by dark physics, proving that the 95% of the universe we cannot see is dynamic, volatile, and capable of linking local events to galactic scale catastrophes. The ultimate threat is the realization that the cover-up is about protecting the stability of the global powers at the cost of confronting the terrifying reality of our cosmic environment. The laws of cause and effect were rewritten, and the Ring of Fire galaxy is the distant, terrifying proof. If you refuse the easy lie and demand the terrifying, complex reality of a universe where physics is breaking down, then share this video and join our community by subscribing. We will continue to decode the invisible universe and expose the truth behind the panic. 3I Atlas proved that the chaos is not local, it is cosmic.